Hello friends and welcome to another video here. Today we passed the 2100 rating here. So we are playing Blitz games on chess.com and hopefully we can go higher than that 2200. Let's aim that. Let's go for that. That's our next goal. So this is a gambit here. So this Scandinavian gambit. I'm not interested in, 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 in getting my pawn back. I'm not interested in that. I want you to play c5. Yeah, that's what I want and I'll play a pawn down. But now you created a lot of weaknesses and I'm going to exploit them one by one. So first of all, I'm targeting this pawn now, and uh, that, I don't think that's a good move. I'll just go back. You're gonna play before. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about this move as well. All right, so it, it seems like you're getting some counterattack here and you're keeping the pawn up and that's very good, but this is not exactly like that let's put our knight here on f5 now if you want to push you can do it i don't mind okay so now you're holding there but now you're creating more weaknesses mm. how can we exploit it a4 very aggressive a4 pretty aggressive let's try to break this pawn chain now let's jump with the knight attack his pieces, like trying to close his bishop. I'm offering another pawn now. I'm offering a new pawn for you. Right? But that's too much. If you take this pawn, that is too much. I'm playing knight f5 next move. Okay, you saw it. Nice shot. Nice shot. So my b pawn now is under attack. So this was a good move. So this was a good move. And this, this pawn here is also under attack. So what can I do? How can we keep the attack? I mean, knight f5 here is, is something to consider, right? Yeah, knight f5 seems a good move here. Very hard to find this, to, 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 to continue with this, because I don't have the g4 square now. I don't, I don't think it's, <coughs> maybe it's not possible to play like that. Maybe, maybe I'm being too optimistic uh, with that move. Okay, so I'll, I'm going for this one, which was my first choice. So we can put pressure here on this pawn. So yep, nice pressure there. Now we're attacking the rook, keeping the keeping the bishop, the dark square bishop. We are only a pawn down, so it's not really something huge. And I'm going to exchange and play queen queen of three, I guess, attacking the knight and the bishop. Interesting. How is he going to defend both? Knight is attacked, bishop is attacked. I think he has to capture, but what to do after this? Then the knight is attacked, okay. But the knight is protected. So not really a concern, but okay, bishop e4 is coming. Next move. So I guess he has to play c3 and I go here and then c2 and give back a pawn. No, okay, let's put pressure here, rook c8. Okay, then I can take it and take the pawn. So I need to break this pawn chain now. Um, should I capture the... Yes, I think I should capture the... The queen or not? No, I th don't think I should, but... Okay, he's attacking my bishop, so... If I just do like this, then I might be running into problems. The point is that after the exchanges, I cannot take because of this. Oh, I can, I can, I can, okay. Let's, oh, what am I seeing? I, I, oh, I just bugged. I just bugged here. Because I saw this move protecting my bishop that is here. So, <laughs> what? Okay, so after the exchanges and I take here, he plays here. And then what do I do? Okay, of course I can play a5, but it's not saving my rook. So what do I do? I cannot play here to save it. And his bishop is coming, so I'll play an exchange down, which is not something not really pleasant. So I guess I need to play like this. He will then exchange, and then he will attack my bishop. And there's again, there's nothing I can do. And if I attack here and then he takes my bishop, that's too bad. Okay, I think I lost this one. 
I think I lost this one. I think I lost this one. Okay, I will just try another trick, but at this time it's probably over. I'll just try a simple trick here, or maybe I just, you know, give two piece, give my piece for two pawns, but okay, I'm losing. So I'll try just another trick, last one. So now I'm attacking the pawn, so if he can push the pawn, but okay, then I go here, and I'm threatening to win the game, but of course he's going to not allow. He's not, he's not allowing that for sure, and I, you know, just try anything here, but uh, it's probably over. I just try something, but yes, this is enough to to win. I can, I, I not even can, I, I can, okay. Bring the king, but okay, this is hopeless. Completely hopeless. One minute, yeah, what can I do? Yeah, because now this pawn is protected. It's over, <laughs> let's go for the next one. Good game, good game. He made a very good game here and probably with a very high accuracy, right? 96, yeah, 92, yeah, good game. He played very well, let's go for the next one. Good game, good one, nice shot. Let's go for the next one. This is the king's pawn opening. Sicilian defense again. So I'm going to open up the Sicilian this time. So he's going to play this Zveshnikov Pelican variation. No, he went for something different. So let's push c4, bishop e3, develop the knight. So we are protected. Bishop e2, I guess. And uh, we should be fine. Here, okay, I can castle. I can go rook c1. What, what was the idea of this knight going back and forth? I don't know, but I'll play h3 now. And um, I think I can push f4. Why not? So now I'm not allowing this knight to go to after this pawn. And also f5 ideas come to mind at any point. Okay, queen d3 seems very solid here. I do like this move, which puts adds another pressure on f5, protects the pawn, and keep everything like closed and together. This move, this move does not do a lot. So let's push f5, and I'm capturing with the rook now. If pawn takes. Okay, let's open the F column. Ooh, things are getting pretty interesting now. Things are getting pretty interesting. If I push the pawn, he takes B4, that's odd. So I think A3, B4. Yes, I guess it's good, good enough. Yeah, he's gonna take A3 pawn, but it's gonna capture the a3 pawn, so maybe, yeah, maybe I gotta consider something else here. Okay. The point is that I am sacrificing this, but I can play this, attacking his queen, and if he takes here, then I have this intermediate move, and then I take it, but my bishop is, oh, okay, then he's, he's attacked many times, and the bishop is also attacked. Let's try this. I don't know if this is really the way to go. Maybe I should try to trap his queen, like this one, followed by this one. Yeah, maybe it's better, you know. His queen is gonna get trapped. If queen a3, I think I win the queen, so I think it can be more ambitious than this. Let's see, what happens if I play this? And it's over, right? Because he takes the pawn and I play this. Yeah, let's do it. I think it's better than it's more ambitious than knight d5. Because now this queen is doomed for two pawns, for two juicy pawns. He will probably try something like this and give me a piece. Because then I take here and then he can exchange. And, and then, okay, then he doesn't lose the... Oh, my bishop is hanging at the end. 
So knight takes e4 seems like a good move. I don't know about this one, but knight takes e4 seems seem to be like the move that was saving his position. And probably he was winning because of this bishop is hanging. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then maybe he can still play knight takes e4. No, no, but, but okay, no. Now I am taking the queen. No, I mean, I could take the queen there as well. I mean, knight takes e4 was not saving the position. I just take the queen. So what am I saying? I just take the queen. So yeah, yeah, he doesn't have time to play that. Sorry about that, guys. He was losing the queen anyway. So that's what happened now. And he wants to play this. So I played this, he played this. And I pick up this piece and he takes my queen. Why did he resign? I think he could fight here. But okay, he wants a rematch. Let's go for the next one. The competitor was saying that I was winning, but I think he could fight. I never see, I've never seen a3 here. But uh, I'm punishing this. I'm playing the queen, queen's gambit accepted. With c5 immediately. I'll try to punish a3. Um, I think I'll go b5 now. Very aggressive, very aggressive b5, trying to punish a3. If he takes the pawn knight here, followed by knight takes there, and I should be fine. Very interesting line here. I've never seen this, never played this before, but it looks like promising. And I'm playing a6 now, and I'm being a pawn up with a good development, a good space. B5 was a good move, I think. I, and then you put in the engine and it says it was a terrible mistake. <laughs> All right, so let's defend it. Let's defend this pawn chain now. Because my queen was like overloaded. Ooh, that hurts. Hurts my feelings. That hurts my feelings. Was not expecting that, but okay, we have a resource here. We do have a resource. Now, bishop h4, g5, forced move. Forced to move. Then pawn takes knight, pawn takes bishop, and I get a very bad pawn chain here, but okay, what to do? Yeah, g5 is forced. Otherwise, I'm losing a piece, and he takes it, and I take it, and I'm attacking this pawn. <laughs> okay, I need to be proud of something here. I need to get optimistic. Um, yeah, we can exchange queens. It favors me. It favors me because um, my king is exposed, so it favors me. A4 now seems like a good move, but I'll play B4. Grab a little bit more space, knight c6. Okay, it's not my position is not a position to be proud of because um, I still have problems to develop this bishop, and now he's coming with a very strong attack. Don't I, I shouldn't I shouldn't allow that. So I probably need to move my knight urgently and forget about this pawn. You know, this pawn is like no importance now. Now this move is like very good one. And I can even castle. I do like this move a lot. And I can castle now. Whoa. And now I do have an attack there. And we can exchange pieces here. And okay, you can play bishop there. I should have calculated better. Wow, you should have an exchange. And then go here. What a nice counterattack. But you didn't. Why not? Now I connect my rooks. Why not, dude? You should have gone for that. And now I'm back in the game. I mean, now I, now you are not back in the game. Now I'm still dominating the game. Shouldn't have done that, guy. You, sh you had your chance. You had your chance. I missed. I blundered, and you didn't take you didn't take your chance. So now it's getting tough. Bishop pair. You know, my knight could go there. But okay, this knight is guarding this very important square. So what to do now? I think I need to better coordinate my pieces. Maybe playing king c7. Maybe playing this bishop to c7. You know, fighting for the column. Exchanging every rook and going for the endgame. It's possible. 
Another possibility here, let's try to be player a little bit more active here. So if you castle, then you have problems. Bishop takes h3 immediately. So uh, you cannot castle now. Yeah, let's try to play a little bit more active than bishop c7 and exchange pieces. Let's try to keep to put problems on him. Yeah, now he has to, you know, now he cannot connect to his rooks. And now if I play this move, then it's slightly better. Then it's slightly better because now he cannot castle. Otherwise, he would castle now and we would exchange everything. So now I take with the rook and um, yeah, he's trying to he's trying to survive here. But now it's time to create a passed pawn and not allow his rook to come to the game. Yes, I think that's the way to go. Okay, immediately attacking this pawn. Then this seems like a good move. Seems like a good move. Let's play very actively here. So now we are defending. And not easy to attack this. Okay, you can of course take the knight, but then you're not holding this square anymore and you go we are going for so many complications. I went for the risky line here. Very risky line. And uh, I think it should. I think I should defend my position a little bit better. I think a five here is important because then my knight is not hanging. And if he ever removes the knight, I can think more calmly. I can go for this rook ideas and not mind the, uh, like doing any malabarism. So now, now is our time to go. And uh, yes, I think this is a very strong attack. And um, yeah, such a powerful attack. And now, now I can play this and you're gonna take here. But then it's hanging there. Yes, it seems like a good move. It's a powerful move because it, it brings another defender here without losing time. And I know that, um, I know that this pawn is gonna hang, but I'm not worried about it. Because this pawn is also hanging and this pawn would be also hanging. So because now this bishop is attacking there. And okay, so my bishop is attacked. Let's take another pawn. And we are taking there as well. Oh, that was painful. That was painful, but I still have resources here. Whoa, that was painful. But okay, this is checkmate. Oh, how lucky I am. <laughs> how lucky I am. All right, he wants another one. Let's go for another one. Uh, the king's pawn. I'm going to play differently now. I'm going to play king's in the attack. Not, not this time. Let's play this gambit here. Let's go for the gambits. Gambits. I love gambits. Okay, that's enough. I think I, 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 there is a limit to loving gambits. <laughs> Let's only play a pawn down. And he's playing fast. Like, he's very confident now for some reason. Let's keep attacking him. Wow, that's that's bold, dude. That's that's cold and bold. Cold and bold. I mean, of course I want to play this. He goes away, I play this. He plays g6. Okay, guy, I want to Oh, okay, there's there's a better one, I think this Okay, this is still protected, but okay, he goes away and then I play this. He's gotta play this, only move, I think. But then... He could play e6 as well, right? He could play, no, e6, knight takes e6, so he's gotta play knight h6. And how can I go on from day to day? Now maybe this doesn't seem right. Okay, it doesn't seem like I have that sacrifice. How about knight queen f3? How about queen f3? Knight f knight h6. You always have knight h6. It's not gonna work. And I, okay, this is not a ten minute game. It's just a.
It's just a blitz game. Just go back. He can take with the knight, I guess. I'm just trying to create some complication, you know, but I think he can take, yeah. Okay, then. Right, so I'm just trying to create something here, but I'm two pawns down now and maybe three, potentially three. But okay, I'm just trying to create something. King is lying in the center. This move forces me to capture. But now I cannot exchange anything else. Guess this move is nice. Wow. He really wants material. He's really interested in material. Dude, you're gonna get into trouble. Oh, okay, queen f5. Interesting. Okay, you can play queen f5 from here. Because now this pawn, there's a good attack here. Are you gonna push d5? Yes, he will. He will. And then queen f3, keep the pressure. What this move does? He wants to exchange it. How about this one? Preparing to double the rooks. One minute! I need to play faster. I need to be creative, but also faster. <laughs> oh, I have this move. Maybe it's better than this. Right. All right. So I'm in pretty pressure here, but I'm, I'm threatening this double attack. Okay. Why did he play this? I don't know, but I'm gonna play this. Rook c8, rook d1. Just trying to put pressure. Maybe h4, h5, no. Now I'm threatening to capture here. And then capture here. If this tries to check, I go back. Um, he wants to exchange pieces and of course I don't want to. So I'm playing this move. Which one is better? e3? Or e2. I think e2, and then follow by this. 53 seconds. I'm gonna play h4. He cannot move the bishop. Now maybe I'm threatening this. But okay, I will have only one pawn back. Why not f4 here? I think f4 is good. Bishop f6? Nice try. But now this move is super. This can he check me and save the position? I don't know. Forty one seconds. Very interesting hunt here on the king in the center. He cannot capture because of checkmate. 
But of course, he would try some check and, and probably he would try queen c2, we exchange and then take the bishop and that's, yeah, that's what I thought we would play. So, no, well done, well done. So if I take, yeah, I gotta take here. Yeah, well done, well done. And it's balanced, it's still a complicated position, but I got 33 seconds, you know. Rook c2. Okay, maybe I should play a4 here. He cannot play b4, so I'm trying to break his... I was threatening rook takes d6, that's why he played it. Oh, that's a nice move. I'm gonna bring the king urgently. Stop urgent. 22 seconds. Push the pawn. Check. I have a passer. Let's protect it and push it. So dangerous position, 13 seconds. 13 seconds. All right, what to do? Here, nine seconds. I'm gonna create a pass from the H now. Oh, he'd lost the bishop. What a nice timing. Oh my gosh, it's a draw. Good game, good game. Very decent. Yeah, okay, I tried. <laughs> But okay, that, those were nice games. I think that's it for today. Very interesting ones. This guy played very bravely and um, this was winning, but I didn't have time. So he deserved the draw. And uh, that's it for today's guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video and the games. Thank you so much for your audience and see you next time.